All right, you guys. Once again, there goes the freaking dog. All right, you guys, what is up? Sure, Goblin here, and my hair is doing that same crap it always does. See, this is why I'm going to be giving me a buzz cut later on this next upcoming week. But I want to talk to you guys about something. You guys know why I have this bamboo stick? I'm out walking a dog. You guys ought to know. Anybody that you see walking will usually carry a stick. Mostly it's to keep either people or mostly animals from attacking you. This is the reason why I have this. It's because there are some people here in Andalusia who don't respect the rules around here. One of the rules here in Andalusia says that if you have a dog, if you are owner of a dog, you have to have your dog on a leash at all times when you let him outside. You cannot be letting him roam free around the neighborhood because that's how accidents happen. That's how people get hurt. Well, these past few weeks, I've been having issues with dogs. One of them, which I've had to hit real hard with this bamboo stick. Not too hard, but hard enough for him to back off. And it gets frustrating. It gets frustrating for me. Because I'm out here trying to enjoy a peaceful walk. And then I have these damn people who don't think that you should have your dog on a leash. That's okay for them to wander. And you know what their excuse is? I don't have a leash. Well, ma'am or sir, if you don't have a leash, buy yourself a freaking leash. You can get in my Walmart for $2. Two to $5. Ain't that bad. We're trying to save our money for other stuff. Well, pfft. there are times where you can put aside those other stuff and get what you really need. So, there was one conversation I ended up having to shut this girl up. Her dog tried to attack me and Andy one time. And I had this stick on me, and I looked like I was about to swing it, which I have hit that dog before with this bamboo stick, and I ain't afraid to do it again. And I ain't doing this out of, out of hatred for the dog. I'm doing it as protection. I don't want you guys to get that mixed up and thinking, oh, no, you're abusing that dog. You're hitting that dog. You're trying to hurt that dog. Trust me, I'm not trying to hurt the dog. I'm actually trying to keep the dog from hurting me. And I'm also trying to protect myself all at the same time. But anyway, back to my original story. Dog came charging at me. I was yelling, yelling. Finally, I had to grab the... Finally, I had to hold my stick up in the air like I was about to swing at him. That dog immediately backed off because he knew that I was about to hit him. Lady comes out there and says, were you about to hit my dog? And I said, man, if he had been me, yeah. If he had, he won't bite you. He's a, she's a friendly dog. She won't bite. Uh, Ma'am, your dog just bared his teeth at me and then proceeded to charge at me. If it hadn't been for me raising my stick up in the air the way I did, then I'd be having a different story with you. If you ever so much as even think about hitting my dog, I will sue you. I looked at her and I said, Ma'am, listen. I've done told you a thousand times. 
you can go and buy yourself a leash and walk that dog. Because there are law, there's a law here in Andalusia saying that if you don't have your dog on a leash, you can then that and the animal control finds that dog wandering about. They have the right to take that dog. And there's also a second law saying that if you get attacked, if you are being attacked by a dog, you have the right to protect yourself. Even if that means hitting a dog. Now trust me, I wouldn't ever want to hit a dog, ever. But when it comes to, if it's between me and the dog, heck, I'm gonna protect me. And, and Andy, consider the fatty's not my dog. But yeah, that's what's been going on lately. And I even told the lady, I actually shut her up. I said, ma'am, I'm telling you what, you threatened to me about how you're gonna sue me if I hit your dog? Well, what happens when your dog bites me? It won't do nothing, it'll leave you just a little bit of a bruise. <laughs> ma'am, if your dog bites me, I can have the right to have the dog put down. Because then that dog's a danger to the neighborhood. If it will attack me, it will attack anybody else. And plus, that dog honestly hasn't really been treated well. Every single time I see him, he has an electric collar on. And he's getting his aggressions from the owner. And so, and that dog used to be really sweet. But now it's like that dog just wants to rip my throat out and stuff. So, yeah, there are some people in life that I feel like that don't deserve dogs. And that's only because, A, they don't know how to take care of the dog. B, they don't do a good job of following the rules when it comes to take care of a dog. If there's a law in your city that says you have to have your dog on leash in order to let him be outside or be on a tether or be in the fence in order to be outside, then you have to do that. If you ain't following that rule, then you're a bad owner, honestly. And, I mean, of course, you're, when you're out in the country and stuff and you have your dog out, on the, out loose and stuff, that's fine. Because you're out in the country, there's hardly any people out there. I mean, there may be a couple of neighbors, but they, they may be spread apart and stuff. So, yeah. But the point is, in the city limits, there are laws. And... Like I said before, if I get tagged by a dog, I have the right to protect.